Happy New Year! Welcome to 2024. I am so excited because I'm starting this year with a showdown between Ubico Authenticator, Google Authenticator, and Twilio Aussie. Now, if I sound congested, it's because I am. I was gifted a respiratory infection on Christmas Day, which I am still recovering from. So I just need to say, if you're sick, please stay home. Some of us do not have PTO and really can't take time off work. <laughs> this video is in partnership with Ubico as a part of my ongoing MFA series. You can get $5 off each Series 5 or Security Series key at ubico.com with the code Shannon Morse. More on that in a little bit. So I am often asked which of these three apps is the best and why. I see that comment all the time. Each one of these does have pros and cons, and you may prefer one for its specific features. Each of these is free, but the differences are pretty large. So we're gonna start with Ubico Authenticator. Now, if you are familiar with YubiKey devices, and if you have watched anything on my channel, you likely are, then this one will definitely pique your interest. Ubico Authenticator is all about that hardware-based security. It's a very clean and straightforward app that pairs seamlessly with your YubiKeys, providing an extra layer of protection beyond just your password. So in terms of pros, the hardware-based security is a significant win here. It makes it extremely difficult for those with malicious intent to steal any of your six-digit codes. You can think of the Ubico Authenticator app as simply a visual screen that looks inside of your hardware key. Nothing is actually being stored on your phone. It's just using your phone's display to show you what is already stored on the YubiKey. Of course, I could go really deep into protocols, etc., etc., encryption, everything that you have to know about like how hard hardware keys work, but if you are interested in a really deep dive about that, I have done videos on that already. Now, since the Authenticator app basically allows you to use a hardware key with websites that only have that six digit code option, this means that you will get a wider range of compatibility with services and platforms. In order to use the Ubico Authenticator app for 2FA codes, you download the app, you choose to add a key, it could be any of your hardware keys if you have several, and you plug in your key or you tap it on the back of your phone. This will add your key to your Authenticator app. So from there, anytime you wanna add new accounts that accept 2FA codes for authentication, you just need to click Add Account, scan the QR code from the website that you wanna set it up on, and add that secret key to your hardware key. The nice thing about the app is you can use the same QR code to add those secret keys to more than one YubiKey. And I did a walkthrough of this in my recent video about what to do if you lose a hardware key. Another perk is if you lose your phone, those 2FA codes will be inaccessible without the hardware key to unlock them. And if you download the app onto another device, you will be able to access those 2FA codes as long as you have your hardware key. It's also cross-platform and it can be used on desktop as well, which I found to be helpful whenever I was first setting up my online accounts to work with it, since the app just ingests the QR code secret key for me, so I didn't have to take a photo of the QR code or copy and paste the secret key. So this setup ends up being safer than just using the app on your smartphone because even if you lock an app with a pin, you will be safer if you are locking the app with a hardware key instead that is separate from your phone. The downside is the feature set of the Ubico Authenticator app is kind of limited. It does not include cloud syncing features within the app because it is tied to your hardware key. But if you are more security conscious, that's probably a good thing. You can choose between themes like light or dark modes, and you can set a password to unlock the YubiKey whenever you tap it on the back of your phone or plug it in. Now, I do wanna mention chicken is not my real password. I was just using that as a demo, FYI. You will need a YubiKey to use this app, but you are in luck because you came to my channel in this video. Yubico has been working with me on creating a whole series of videos all about multi-factor authentication and using hardware keys. So if you don't have one yet, or you are looking to add more to your arsenal, Use my coupon code for $5 off each one. Hit up yubico.com and use the code Shannon Morse, all one word, at checkout and stock up on those hardware keys in the new year. Join me in 2024 to create the ultimate consumer security in the easiest ways possible. And thank you to Yubico for sponsoring this video. Okay, next we have Google Authenticator. Now it's the go-to app for many users due to its simplicity and widespread integration, but how does it stack up? 
up. On the pro side, Google Authenticator is as simple as it gets, making it incredibly user-friendly. To use it, you take a photo of a QR code and you add accounts to your app. Then you can copy the six digit codes from the app in order to log into any of your online accounts. Google Authenticator introduced cloud syncing this past year, which means that your codes can be synced to your Google account. Now, while this is very convenient, it also opens up a potential loophole that could be exploited by an attacker. So if somebody gained access to your Google account, hopefully they never do, but it's a possibility. Even if they don't have your phone, they could download the app on their own phone, log into your Google account and download your codes onto their own phone. It is now end-to-end -end encrypted though, which is better than no encryption in transit at all. Now, Google doesn't make disabling cloud syncing very clear. In order to disable it, you do have to click on your user profile photo and click use without an account. Google Authenticator can also be used for any websites that accept codes from an authentication app. But the downside is if you lose your phone and you don't set up online backups, you could lose access to those 2FA codes. It's also not the most secure. You can't hide the code and you can't force a tap to reveal them. There's also no way to lock the app with biometrics or a pin code. Now, lastly, we have Twilio Authy. Authy is best known for being a cloud-based authenticator app. Authy has aimed to stand out with its cloud-based backup and multi-device support, but that also might be its biggest negative. From a convenience perspective, cloud-based backup ensures you won't lose access even if your phone takes an unexpected dive off of a mountainside here here in Colorado. Authy's multi-device support lets you authenticate from your phone, from your tablet, even a smartwatch, so it's pretty convenient. When you set up Authy, it asks for a phone number to associate with your account, as well as an email address as a backup contact method. It verifies both email and phone number by sending six digit codes to each of them. Authy does have the best looking user interface. There's a dark and a light mode. It's got large icons, a tile view, and a colorful main page that make it really easy to find your 2FA codes for any sites. You can also drag and drop to sort them however you please. But I would assume a lot of folks in my audience may have reservations about the security implications of storing authentication codes in the cloud. You can disable those backups, which is what I would do, and the backups are password protected. You can also disable multi-device usage as well. The app can also be locked with a pin code or biometrics, and it's very easy enough to remove any old devices from your account if you ever decide to delete those online accounts. So after looking at these from a basic view, I would say they all have pros and cons, but we need to talk about data practices as well. Another major point that you might want to consider is each app's data practices. In the case of Yubico Authenticator, that app does not collect or share any data whatsoever. No data is shared with third parties. No data is collected by Yubico. It's pretty simple as that. In the case of Google Authenticator, while no data is shared with third parties, Google Authenticator does collect data, and that includes your device ID, app crash logs and diagnostics, app interactions, and optionally in-app search history, which is used for analytics, fraud prevention, security, compliance, as well as app functionality. Optionally, it can also collect your contact info. It also collects data from photos for account management, kind of an obvious one there, and it also collects optionally your name, email address, user IDs, address, phone number, etc. And data is encrypted in transit. And lastly, we need to look at Twilio Authy. No data is shared with third parties again, thankfully, but Twilio does collect data such as your approximate location, crash logs and diagnostics, analytical information about app activity, personal information such as your email address, user IDs and phone number, and the device ID. And data again is encrypted in transit. So when it comes to security and data privacy, Yubico Authenticator obviously takes that crown. The hardware-based approach provides an extra layer of protection that Google 
Cloth Indicator and Twilio Authy just don't match. And while each app does have its strengths, like Authy is the prettiest for sure, Yubico Authenticator is far ahead in the race for the most secure authentication app. I think that Yubico Authenticator, Google Authenticator, and Twilio Authy each have their strengths and weaknesses, but if security is your top priority, then Yubico Authenticator is the clear winner in my little showdown. Of course, the best choice depends on your specific needs and preferences. What is your go-to authentication app? And did this comparison change your mind at all? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you found my video useful. And coming up next week, I will be at CES. So stay tuned for a ton of content coming out from that event as well. Bye y'all.